Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little get ready with you, a full face of all new makeup. So all the products I'm going to be applying to my face you guys have already seen in my other videos. If you haven't yet, check them out. I did a lot of separate videos on some new palettes I picked up during the first Sephora sale. And I'm just using makeup also that I haven't used in a while. And I'm just really using stuff that I want to play with including the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Palette. Very excited to play with different colors than the colors I use in my review on that one. It's going to be a fun makeup day. I do want to update you on a couple, like, scent home things candles diffusers. <laughs> Let's talk about candles real quick. It's the holidays. So you might be thinking about picking something up that's like a special holiday scent. I have a whole video on the Diptyque Holiday Collection. This diffuser is part of it, this container. I picked up the Tuberose diffuser scent. It comes in here. This is the refill. And I just filled this last night. So we're going to see how long it lasts. This is all the juice from the diffuser in here. And it comes with the reeds and everything, so I think it smells good. I just want to let you guys know, but it is not very strong. So I put the reeds in, you know, filled this up last night, and then this morning I turned the reeds so I could, like, get the scent in the air. So you're supposed to, like, turn over the reeds uh, every so often. So I just did that, and it's not a strong tuberose smell. And I don't know if it's because it's cooler in my apartment than when I last used a diffuser in the summer. It really smelled up the place. But this one is a little bit on the weaker side, which I'm surprised by. This is a, an, an expensive product. It's beautiful. I like it in my bathroom, but it's just not very strong. Which then again, like, you don't need like a super strong one in a small space like a bathroom. But I leave my bathroom door open. It's right here. And it's, I thought it might like overwhelm my whole apartment. I thought I would smell it more like in my living room and like my bedroom, but I'm not really smelling it at all. So I just wanted to give you that update. If you guys have had the Diptyque diffusers, if you've had that experience, please comment below because I don't know, like I, I just want, not that I want it to like replace a candle, but I wouldn't mind it becoming like my apartment smell tuberose. And if it's this week, I might be reconsidering the Diptyque diffusers because it's it's something when you spend that much money, you really want it to project at least like somewhat. And it's just a it's really fresh. It's not like super strong, sickly floral. It's just like baseline, like a really low projection. So. Um, it's only been one day, maybe I need to flip it a, more, a few more times to really get the scent going, but I didn't have that issue with my last diffuser, so I don't know what's happening. Um, if you guys have any tips on diffusers, if it's not smelling as strong as you thought it would be, what can I do? Please comment below. Um, moving on to my candle. So I, this isn't, so I got the holiday candle from Ness. This is the last year one, and... I got a really big 60, 600 gram candle from Ness, the holiday one. It's at my boyfriend's house, so I'm not, this isn't it. I've been burning it over there, and that candle's, I think, too large for the space. So he's got a two-bedroom apartment. It's not super huge. I have it in the burning in the living room coffee table, like the table right in front of the TV. Holy crap. That candle is too strong, <laughs> honestly. It's paraffin, so it projects really well. I think I should have got a smaller candle because it's just too large for the space. And I think I was getting a headache from it, and I think, like, it was kind of irritating my throat a little bit. I don't know if you've ever, ever experienced that with, like, a candle, like a fragrance that just kind of chokes you up a little bit. Um, so that's been happening. So I'm like, okay, if I want to light this candle, it has to be for a very short time. Otherwise, I suggest that you get a, this size or smaller. So this is uh, 230 grams, 8.1 ounces. This is probably a good size for most rooms. Unless you have a huge house or a huge open area, those candles are going to be too much probably. Especially if you're sitting right there next to it. It's like, ugh. So just going to say that. It smells super good. My boyfriend actually commented he likes the smell of it. 
he doesn't have a good sense of smell. But I think it was a little bit overwhelming um, last time we burned it. So just be careful about that. Just a warning. Alright, sorry for that little uh, fragrance interlude. Now we're going to get on to makeup. So I just have skincare on my face. It's been on my face for a few hours now. So I'm going to put on a primer. My Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Primer in the original. This is a really expensive primer. I hate that it's so much money, but I really love it. I put it on top of my sunscreen. I am wearing sunscreen most of the time. Even though I'm not going outside, I have a window right there with, like, no UV protection, so... I put it on, especially I'm, you know, using retinol, exfoliators, vitamin C. You want to make sure you put on your sunscreen. Okay, end of uh, PSA there. Foundation. I've, I'm consistently using the Lisa Eldridge. I have the shade number two. I've heard mixed reviews that people have kind of reservations about this foundation, and then I've seen some people love it on YouTube. I'm definitely in the camp where I love it, but... It's a product you're going to need a, quite a few pumps of to get that medium coverage, like way more than you normally would. It's a very buildable foundation. I don't think people are used to that. So. Also, the texture is different. I heard a lot of comments about the texture being a little weird. I didn't really... Kind of moussey. I don't think it's moussey. I've heard that. It's definitely not, it's like a, not super liquidy, obviously. It's not running down. It's not super thick. It's like a nice, kind of weird consistency, I guess. But I, well, I can only say positive things about the texture. So I'm just going to put on some dots and then blend it in. But yeah, I would say you need a lot of product, but you can just start out with a tiny amount, see how you like it. This is how much I'm putting on, which looks like a ton. But trust me, the result is gonna be good. All right, so I'm using her foundation brush, Lisa Eldridge. And just going in, I don't know what day it is. It feels like the day before Thanksgiving, but it's two days before Thanksgiving. And I am so excited for the break, the holiday. Not necessarily for, like, the food and all that, but honestly just a nice breather from work. Especially since I worked every day last weekend, so I didn't really get that much of a break. So I'm really looking forward to, like, a real break um, super excited about that. I don't really know. It's just me and my boyfriend, so, like, I don't love to cook just for two of us. Especially, like, when I just want to relax. I don't love the idea of slaving for several hours just to eat it all within 20 minutes. I like leftovers. Turkey is okay to me. It's not my, my favorite meal. I like the stuffing and all the sides more than anything else, but I'm just like <laughs> not excited about cooking. So I'm not, I don't plan to cook. I was like, if we can do like a to-go thing, if we can heat it up or if it's already hot, that would be best. I've had some experience with like the takeaway, you know, meals that, you know, serve several people and... A lot of the times they come frozen and then you have to think, well, I have to thaw this and it takes so many hours to heat up in the oven. I'm like, why don't we just cook a fresh turkey? And <laughs> it, it shouldn't take quite as long as, a, you know, a, a, fr a raw turkey, but still I feel like, I don't know, I'm pretty lazy. To me, it's still too much work. And I feel like, you know, the, the quality of the food, like, it tastes just okay. It's definitely not as good as, like, putting in all the effort of making everything from scratch. So I'm, like, kind of indifferent as I grow older and I'm responsible for cooking. I'm like, I don't want to do it. But let me know what you guys think about 
the holidays? Have you guys like changed how you've thought about the holidays since the pandemic? Like, are your traditions changing a little bit? I know for me, it's oh, I've always loved the holidays. You grew up loving holidays, definitely a lot of fun. But as I've grown older, it's definitely at my job now, it's the most stressful time of year for me in terms of deadlines and then the holidays on top of that and finding gifts for everyone and getting it shipped to them on time. And then the added pressure of cooking a meal. <laughs> I just like, I'm tapped out. <laughs> um, and then also YouTube. It's honestly the busiest, most, my videos have been, are viewed way more during this time of year. So it's a, a time you actually want to create a lot of content because people want to know what kind of gifts they should be buying and what kind of products are good. So there's a lot of viewership right now. So I feel the pressure to put a lot, a lot of videos and I am working towards getting more subscribers. If you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like my content, you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe. But anyways, this time of year, it's a little bit stressful. All right. I am, I blended that in with a sponge. I'm going to go back in this area with more of the foundation to get more coverage. This is such a flexible foundation that just builds so nice. It's just gonna um, take up, it's gonna take some product. I think also what's throwing things off is the pumps are like half pumps. So you might have to use six pumps to get like three full pumps. I think we're looking good. I think I'm okay with this amount of coverage and I'm gonna move on to concealer. New product to me uh, is the Clay de Peau Concealer Stick. This is SPF 25. I have ivory. And this is just so quick. It's a little bit thick. And the color's off, but I like it. So that says something. So the thickness, you just have to really... Um, I like using a damp sponge to blend it out. But when it's like a thicker, drier formula, you have to move a little bit quicker to uh, blend it out. Let's get into the rest of the makeup. Um, so I want to continue with my cream stuff that I want to use. I'm going to be using cream body product. I use it as a bronzer. And the new Victoria Beckham Posh Cheeks. Trying those again. So I actually love this Fenty Beauty body sauce after I powder, but I'm going to put it on before. This is Pearl Swirl, the lightest shade. It's a very liquidy product. And it's not meant for the face. It's kind of intense. You don't need a lot. But it's such a good product. I don't know how to describe it. So I have a big forehead, so I like to bronze up the forehead, make it appear a little bit smaller. I don't know that it really works, but I look a little more tan. Cross the nose a little bit. So this is going to disturb your foundation a little bit. This liquidy of a product, especially blending with your fingers. I like to go under the chin a little bit. Just so I don't look completely detached. And then later I'll use a powder bronzer. But that's it for the cream and then blush. I'm going to use the mini skirt. Cheeky Posh Victoria Beckham Stick Blush. And use a brush to blend it out. So this is more of like the warmer brick red, deeper 
shade. Loving it with the, the bronzer. Loving, easy to apply with the brush. And for liquid highlighter, my Lisa Eldridge Cosmic Rose. This product right here. Such a natural do. Right, if you don't like powders at all, you can stop here with the complexion, but I like to make my makeup to last a little bit longer, so I need some setting. So I'm going to use my Chantecaille Light Loose Powder. Not a product I would pick up again, but it works. Um, it's not, I want something a little bit softer. Like I want it to set, but I don't want it to be dry. I guess I just put on a bunch of liquid. I don't want to like buff in my setting powder. I just want to tap it on because I don't want to disturb things too much. All right, that's it for my setting powder. I'm going to move on to the eyebrows before I do my other powders. And I'm trying to get used to this Anastasia brow freeze, which to me makes my eyebrows look funny. <laughs> I'm not used to a laminated look. I've started using my rapid brow again so I can grow it back some brows. I think I put too much <laughs> again. Really easy to over apply. We're gonna put some gel over it. I'm gonna use my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. So brow gels I like, they're fast, they're just not as precise. So sometimes I get some sharp uneven edges. I put on cheeks, but I like to layer. So I'm gonna put on a powder blush. This is the Dior Rouge blush in Charnel. I did a whole separate video on it. It's like a brown peachy pink. More on the peach side. This doesn't exactly match. Now bronzer. I'm using my Wayne Goss light gold bronze and sculpt palette. This is the lightest one. I mix the shades. Actually the the body sauce really makes me look tan. And I don't deserve to look that tan. Finishing powder. Shantikai. Perfect blur. Finishing powder. I have the old version of this. I believe Shantikai is having some sort of sale for Black Friday. I don't know if this product's included. But if it is, definitely high on my recommend list. There's two colors now, I believe have the lightest one. All right, complexion is good to go except for highlighter. I'll probably actually do highlighter after my eyes. All right, so I'm pulling from one of my new palettes, the Natasha Denona Glam Light Palette, and I'm going to use the highlighter. I really like the highlighter in here though. Uh, it's called Star Glow. And it's just really stunning light gold. I wanted to play in here again. Now, I like the highlighters in here, but they're very colorful and very glittery. And that's not what I wanted to go for on my highlight today. <laughs> um, and then I have the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz, which I might dip into. We shall see. Oh, there's so many options with multi-chromes in this light work palette. It's just... There are so many options. It just looks like so much fun. Aurora is what I want to get into, but I'm going to need to use some mattes with it. So I'm going to dip into some mattes from the, the Rose Quartz palette. Let's see. I'm going to create a little bit of shape. So I'm going to use Precious, which is this matte shade here. And it's a very cool tone, grayish, purpley mauve matte. I am loving these colors for sure. Okay, Aurora, here we go. Digging in. Now, 
Now, some people are like really stunned by this palette and some people are like, yeah, I've seen better multi-chromes. If you guys really want like a stunning multi-chrome formula, Cleona is having a Black Friday sale right now. I don't know how long it's going to last. Some shades are already sold out. Some bundles are already sold out. I do have a couple videos on that brand. I do agree that their multi-chromes are a little bit better, but I don't think you can argue that this this color is stunning. Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I mean, and I could apply it with a brush with no problem. So it, it's really easy, honestly. There's no tricks. There's no primer. I didn't have to use my finger. If you don't like using your finger to apply eyeshadow, I mean, I can't really complain. <laughs> and this color, I mean, yes, it is purple. Fuchsia. It's got a lot of shine to it. It's got some shift, but not like... So showing you shift of the multi-chrome is pretty difficult. I'll attempt to show you in a second. I have a feeling this shade isn't quite as multi-chrome apparent as other shades. Can you guys see? Let's do it this way. Can you see some of that green right there? So we got green and purple. Um, I mean, it looks pretty multi-chromey. It's just you have to move around to see it be in different light. It's there. The multi-chrome is there. Um, is it the most shiny, vibrant shade of multi-chrome I've ever seen? No, but it's still pretty good and it's really easy to blend out, so I'm a fan of that. <laughs> so I could definitely do my whole eyes with the Lightwork palette, but I want to use this Glam palette a little more, especially some shades I haven't used yet, like these metallics. Might be really pretty. I'm going to go with Abundance, this like deep purple one right here. It's like a purple metallic. Definitely not necessary, but I'm just kind of playing around with colors. Just a different tone, different dimension. And it actually lightens things up. So with multi-chromes, a lot of the time they have a black base to make them really stand out. So it can be really heavy all over the lid, um, especially against a lighter skin tone like mine so adding a more metallic shine without a black base under it just adds a little something a little extra pretty so we can go even deeper on the outer edge or just do something even more different I'm trying to think so gaia is like a bronze green gold in the light work palette Solar Rain, I've used before. It's very gold though. I've also used Martian. Super pretty. We have a lot going on with my eyes right now. Hmm, let me think about the under eye, where I want to go with that. Let's try a little tiny brush with Gaia. So that is definitely making this a little bit more deeper. So I want to smoke that out, make it less defined. Someone is raking outside and it's like really loud. Like it sounds like they're raking on top of cement with like a plastic rake and it's like the loudest thing possible. So I really want to brighten things up with my inner corner because we're very dark right now, especially in this lighting. We are very dark. So um, I have some options. I can go into Polaris, which I love. This is like a cream multi-chrome shadow that you cannot see that well. So that is Polaris. 
Um, it's just a cream formula, so it's a little bit different. Now there's a leaf blower. Uh, Strawberry Moon is very glittery. Also could go well in the inner corner. That is from the Light Work palette. I'm thinking I may need to pull something from here though, so there's some really stunning foils in here that I loved in my Huda Beauty video. I think I'm gonna go into Moon Magic, this one right here. So this is a very crumbly shade. It has so much impact. Now this is a little bit deep. I would actually like this to be even lighter. So I might use another shade on top of this. I must be just doing some cleanup outside right now. So apologies. I think my only option is to go into Polaris. So I don't know if I like this layered. I feel like have an oil slick in the corner of my eyes. <laughs> no. All right, before we get into lips, I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner and mascara off camera because that is not as exciting. The liner I want to use is this new sea gray color from Victoria Beckham because I haven't used it yet. And we're just gonna do a little bit here, maybe on the bottom. Actually, let's start to do this. Before I go, I just want to show you this one. I think that this one works there. This color works. This eye look somewhat. Like I was saying in my Victoria Beckham haul, this sea gray is, is when it's concentrated, it's definitely more of a steel color when you smear it out it's a lighter silver I think that works on the bottom lash line so I'm going to do mascara and I'll be back all right we're dealing with leaf blowers but I gotta move on because I'm out of daylight and I need to take some photos so lips I'm thinking of a nude the lip liner I have in mind is uh, more pink neutral so I'm using the lip liner number three from Victoria Beckham I'm going to experiment doing a little bit of a different overfill shape. I don't normally, I don't have big lips. They're fairly small. Uh, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to go straight across the top and cut the ends short. And this is supposed to duplicate like a lip, cosmetic lip procedure. So I think this is the wrong lip liner for the lipstick I want to use because it's more nude and this is a bit more rosy and my lips have foundation all over them. This is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair. It's actually broken. It arrived in the heat of summer and broke. I don't know that this lip shape made a huge difference. I don't think I look like I have any work done. It's a little bit deeper than I expected. I'm going to put on the Velvet Affair, or the Affair lip gloss from Lisa Eldridge. My lips need some exfoliation. What do you guys think? <laughs> This is the final look. I am loving it. I think the eyes got a little bit messy at the end with all the colors I ended up using in the inner corner. So that area could be improved um, just with the gold and the pinks and it's just became a little bit muddied together. Um, but I think overall I'm liking the vibe that I'm getting from all the new products that I've used. I didn't get into the Glam Light palette that much, but we, I did some work in the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz and the Dennis and Myrick's Light Work palette to create this eye look. We got into a lot of Lisa Eldridge, some Victoria Beckham. So I've been enjoying playing with all my new makeup. It's always fun to play on camera with you guys. 
please let me know of the new stuff that you've been trying. What do you, what are you guys absolutely loving? What has surprised you? Please comment below. Uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.